This is a model of an automatic transmission. Automatic transmissions are one of the least understood mechanisms. Almost all cars on the road are automatic. So how do they work? The first thing you'll notice is that there's an input and there's an output. In this case, the input is this yellow ring gear and yellow handle, and the output is this orange ring gear. Right now, there's nothing engaged, so they both spin at the exact same speed. This is what's called direct drive where the input is exactly the same as the output. This model of an automatic transmission contains two planetary gear sets. A planetary gear set contains a ring gear, planet gears, and a sun gear. If I rotate the sun gear, you can see the planet gears rotating inside of the ring gear. This automatic transmission model contains two planetary gear sets that share the same sun gear. Let's take it apart so we can see what's inside. Here you can see the two sets of planet gears orbiting around the same sun gear. This blue part is called the planet carrier. It holds the planet gears in place. The important thing to note is that the sun gear is shared between the two planetary gear sets. Also, the planet gears of the first planetary gear set are connected to the ring gear of the second planetary gear set. Now I'll show you how it actually works by demonstrating it. These gears on the side are actually handles. If I hold this blue gear, it'll actually hold the blue planet carrier in place. If I hold this red gear, it'll keep the sun gear in place. By changing which gear I hold in place, it'll actually change the gear ratio of the gearbox. Before I demonstrate how it works, it's important to know why we actually need automatic transmissions in our cars in the first place. A car runs best at a certain RPM. This RPM is a lot faster than we need when we're first starting out from a stop. We have to ease up the speed of the output. To do that, we can start in first gear by holding the blue handle in place. You can see the orange output ring is spinning much slower than the input. Now let's increase the output speed by switching to second gear. We could do this by holding on to the red handle. Now the output ring gear is only slightly slower than the input ring gear. We could switch to third gear or direct drive by releasing all of the handles. We have now eased our way into our final speed. Some automatic transmissions have overdrive where the output spins faster than the input. Let's go back to second gear and then down to first gear. First gear is slower, but it gives us more torque. I'll have these files for free on my website if you wanna download them and 3D print them yourselves. If you wanna learn how to design things just like this and learn how to 3D print them, check out my courses in the description below. And that is how an automatic transmission works.